שלום רחל. שלום שלום. איפה את גרה בנורבגיה? באוסלו. באוסלו, העיר המפורסמת. לצערנו. את הרבה שנים שם? מ-92. אה, זה לא נורא, את עוד עולה חדשה שם. כן, בדיוק. התחלתי עם המעורבות הזו? כן, אז אנחנו, יש לנו ארגון שנקרא נושק ישראל סנטר, שפועל נגד האנטישמיות בנורבגיה, שהיא מאוד קשה בימים האלה, ולתמוך בישראל. זה מה שהארגון עושה, וזה יהודים ונוצרים שעובדים ביחד. ופה אנחנו רואים קבוצה של אנשים שכל אחד קנה כרטיס טיסה, והגיע לכאן במיוחד להפגנה כדי לתמוך בישראל. הערבים משתמשים בכמויות אדירות של כסף להסברה בנורבגיה. זה ישראל לא עושה לצערנו מספיק. ואנחנו משתדלים גם לכתוב חוברות, גם לתת הרצאות בבתי ספר, הכל נעשה בהתנדבות. אבל כמובן להשוות את זה למערכת ההסברה המשומנת והמוצלחת של הערבים, אנחנו לא ברמה הזאת. אבל קצת אנחנו עושים ואנחנו משתדלים. האנשים פה כולם עובדים עבודה רגילה, הם בערב הם מתנדבים למען ישראל, הם נותנים עשרה אחוז מהברוטו של המשכורת שלהם לפעילות למען ישראל, והפעילות, עד עכשיו הכסף נאסף בעיקר לביקור חולים, שערי צדק, היום כבר הגענו למצב שאנחנו משתמשים בכסף בעיקר להסברה בנורבגיה בגלל האנטישמיות. ילדים יהודים לא הולכים יותר עם כיפות, לא עם מגן דוד, הם מוכים בבתי ספר, והמצב הוא... כל כך חמור שהארגון החליט שצריך להשתמש בכסף בהסברה. למרות שהממשלה לא תומכת בישראל, הרוב המוחלט של הנוצרים הנורבגים תומכים בישראל, אבל יש להם בעיה קשה עם ההסברה. למה ישראל לא באה עם אינפורמציה נגד האינפורמציה שאנחנו מקבלים מהצד השני? וורסטוטט אל ישראל, אוקפור רובה, דנושקר ירינגן, ומוהה אינרים לירה פוליטיק, איפרולט אל ישראל. איקה סנט! שלום! שלום! ישראל! ישראל! שלום! שלום! ישראל! ישראל! ישראל עם חי! ישראל עם חי! But we come here to celebrate together with you the Sukkot and to show the support because, because we want to stand together with the only democracy in the Middle East. You can listen to us. Uh, don't listen to whatever other people must say. I know we are the real Norway and we express ourselves on behalf of our country. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. We want to know where is the money that was gone to PLO. The money we know is used to publish anti-Jewish books. The money is used for private economy of the corrupt PLO leadership. We don't see the money that go to the poor in Gaza. We see only corruption, and this is what Arabs see. And we don't want to be a part of it. We want freedom for the people in this area. We want that everybody will be able to be Jew, 
or Muslim or Christian as they want, not attacking other people. Freedom for everybody. This lands belong to Israel, to, to the Jewish people. So don't make a Palestinian state. This is a land for Israel, for, for your Jewish people. It is because of the Jews all these wonderful plants we can see everywhere who have, that has been just a desert before. It is no like a garden. And that is only the Jews who had this blessing. So God bless the Jews. Amen. No to PLO state. 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 We want Norwegian money and policy to support democracy and not terrible regimes that suppress their own people. A famous place, Oslo. Yes, it's a famous place and uh, I'm not proud of the name Oslo because it has brought so much sorrow to Israel, in fact. Maybe it will change. We hope it will change and that's why we are coming here to show that there are different opinions in Norway about the Oslo Agreement and the right for Israel to exist as a state uh, with secure borders and in the promised land. What is the impression of young students in Norway? The student milieu is, uh, I think, mostly supportive uh, to, to the Palestinians. But there are also big groups of Christian Nor uh, Norwegian young people that is highly supporting Israel and what Israel stands for and want the whole Israel, including Judea, Samaria and Gaza, to be included in, in Israel. And we have been traveling around. To the country? Yes, we started in Gaza, we have been in Samaria, we are going to Judea tomorrow and the day after. And afterwards we are uh, traveling to the Galilee and then to the south. You are not afraid of the situation? No, not at all, not at all. God bless you. Thanks. God bless Israel too. How did you start with all this group? And I heard so much about the situation here and uh, so much I didn't know about because the press in Norway is not very informative. They are very pro-Palestinian and even if I have been here many times I didn't recognize the stories in the news. Uh, it was kind of a shock for me to realize how bad it really was. I, I think the Jews have suffered enough the last 2000 years really not, not enough is enough now we have to stop it right thank you that, that's that's how i feel i would like to give you a letter mm -hmm. please thank you this is a letter telling uh, what we uh, think about uh, what norwegian policy towards israel have to be and uh, we would like uh, norway to support uh, democracy much more than it does today and everybody makes mistakes, but now it is time to change. And we would like to ask you to help us and to help Norway. Vi vil ta imot oss, og så har vi eh, oppsummert alle parolene som er vist utenfor her i dag, i avslutningen av dette brevet. Så de følger også med eh, dokumentasjonen, eller dokumentet vi har overlevert til dere. Og et viktig poeng for, for oss, det er å be om at den norske ambassade i Israel blir flyttet til Israels hovedstad, Jerusalem. Der en hver ambassade bør være i et lands hovedstad. Og jeg vil gjerne takke for det at vi fikk lov å komme, at dere tok imot oss så fint. At vi også får bli hørt, ikke sant? For det hjemme så opplever vi jo at de bare så ofte refererer palestinske kilder. Og det er jo også israelske kilder, og jeg skulle gjerne ønske at vi også fikk høre i Norge Israels reaksjoner på alt som skjer. Eres og Gro og jeg har nå vært oppe i ambassaden. In English. Speak it in English. We have now delivered a message to the embassy. We were well, well received. The letter is on the way back to the Norwegian uh, government and the Norwegian parliament. Yeah. Yeah.
Um, why here. not any representative to us? How yeah, can we then come here up to the uh, uh, ambassador when they are not coming with their representatives to us here? Oh, thank you for us. We will be your representatives here in Tel Aviv today. I ask you that you will send them rightly back here. For I know, 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 I know. So I will send them every one. We will send them to Israel. And we say, Lord, let it go. We will come back and show that we stand up for Eres Israel. Amen. Amen. And we thank you, Lord, that everybody will bless Israel. Remember what the Bible is saying. Those who are blessing Israel, God will also lead into Israel. Those who are har uh, cursing Israel, they will be closed out from Israel. You are blessing. And you will be here. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Since it's a war going on, therefore we have this shofar with us. We are in war with the embassy and with the Arabs. I want to support Israel. Do you know anything about Israel? A little. A little. And where do you get your information? Um, in my school. School and mother and father. And school, uh, in my school and my mother and my father. Okay. We are going in a Christian school and our school are supporting Israel. And we are going to be in a Christian school. We think it is very nice. It's a Norwegian embassy. It's having very nice facilities here. It is lovely. But who knows in the world where Ramat Aviv is? Not because Ramat Aviv is not important. But Jerusalem is the capital. And having your embassy outside the capital, only when it comes to the Jewish state, is clear discrimination. We would like to bless Israel before we leave. They are singing now about to bless Israel. Yes. The singer in Norwegian means bless. Thank you. I will only say thank I will only say thank you very much for showing Norwegian support to Israel here. We are 60, 70 people traveling all the way from Norway to Israel to show support to Israel here. We are only a little percentage, small percentage of all the supporters of Israel back home in Norway. So please, Jews in Israel, know that Norway consists of many, many, many thousand supporters of Israel and the Jewish population here. So when you read in the papers in Israel that Norway is against you, that is not true. We are with you and Norway bless you. Shalom.